We are back, folks. This is our weekly challenge, and this is probably the best hand we've seen so far in our weekly challenge. We are going to start with one spade with our beautiful seven card suit. Now, here's how I like to kind of handle these hands. If this, I mean, if this were match points, you might have an interesting choice here, but here with a very good hand with a good seven card major, I like to open one and just bid four. Um, and this just is kind of just going to show a shapey type four bid. It's, it's a hand that says, hey, I, I, probably have an opening hand and a preemptive type shape okay um we bought pretty poorly here but we're gonna still try to scrabble together as many tricks as we can um we're gonna play low from dummy and hope the 10 isn't to our right unfortunately it is <laughs> so oh my goodness this is so brutal we here's the problem we have two club losers we have a heart loser and it looks like we have at least now two diamond losers so uh, i'm gonna duck this and see if we can get them to maybe help us out otherwise we're, we're very very unlikely to be making this um i'm happy i see this here i'm gonna win that ace and i'm gonna lead a low heart i was hoping they would play low there they did not oblige now we're just in trouble Ace of clubs, here comes a diamond to one of their honors. And now we're just going to draw a whole bunch of Trump, okay? In a realistic setting, you would draw Trump and you would continue drawing Trump. And here, the, the logical thing you should be thinking about on defense in spots like this is if Declare had a heart, they would have played it already. So, <laughs> so do not mess around if you're defending this hand and pitch the wrong cards, folks. It would be a real disaster for you. Uh, and here, I'm sure no one's pitching the wrong card, but maybe we can end play somebody for an extra trick. Nope. Okay. So our aggressive stance on this hand, jumping to four in this imp format, did not do us too well. So minus 200 is not the best score, but I don't, you know, I, I never mind doing this with the robot, especially because it's super hard to kind of get them to understand you have something like this. And this is a pretty fair representation of what this should look like. Um, if we take these eight points, and honestly, let's take away that one point, put it somewhere else. Let's take away these four points and make it the ace of hearts. And then let's maybe make this the queen of diamonds. And now, you know, you, you now have a six count that is is enough to make a game opposite this hand. So a little unlucky with the construction of partner's hand, but oh well, we'll take that. Um, interested to see what the robot does on that one, though. Did they stay out of game or did they kind of bid the same way? Number eight, let's take a look. And this is another very good hand here. 17 it looks like am i right 16 left 16. Yeah. so here we could open a no trump with a singleton ace i'm okay with that we might be missing a spade fit and we have very good shape so i'm just gonna start with a spade and here i don't mind this spot i i don't mind bidding two no here showing what should be 18 19 for us uh and always remember folks one one two no is 1819. the robot here might play at 17 18 or whatever but that's just a small leak in their understanding 18 19 balance is what we're showing and here i'm stretching a bit but I'm stretching in kind of a way that I'm hiding this hand shape-wise from the robots, and I'm being a little bit more aggressive with my game approach here. So here, if I don't go this route, maybe we don't get partner to kind of kick it into game with this hand, which I guess we'll find out if we really want that in a few moments. Uh, at this point, uh, they got off to a club lead, which is pretty good for their side, but it's, it's still okay for us as well. Uh, we're going to try to create tricks in this suit for sure. Now we're going to get at least one extra and maybe more. Uh, <laughs> doing really well here. They're getting off to a nice switch. Okay, are we getting a club through again? Look at you guys. Okay, now, now they actually get off to maybe what is their best switch, a diamond here. And our decisions are, okay, do we start taking our tricks or do we start mining for extras? And let's just think about what the dangers are out there. Um, we have a little bit of danger in diamonds now, especially if the king and the jack are wrong for us, right? So, so here, if the king and the jack of diamonds are in the east player's hand, right? Or honestly, if just the jack is there and we misguess this, we have two losers there and we have a heart loser, which is probably too, too many. Um, can we take all of our winners now? Well, let's say even if spades get to be five winners, let's just say things are very rosy. So we'll take five spades. That'll be six tricks total added to the one we've already taken. And then we have the ace of clubs for seven. And that's it, folks. That's really it for our extra tricks. So no, we do not have enough to take all of our tricks at this point. So we have to just mine for more. So at this point, I'm going to play the Jack of Hearts. 
And I'm, I'm hoping two things. I'm hoping they either, okay, <laughs> they put us in the test right away, obviously. So they've led a low diamond and, uh, and we've won our singleton ace. And now the question is, where is the king and where is the jack of diamonds? Uh, this is usually bad for us. Uh, I, I usually, I, I tend to think the king is not here in these situations because the robot frequently just bangs down the king in a poor sense. Um, but I've seen them get this right as well, unfortunately. I'm going to play the 10 and hope we're right. And we're wrong. That's just too bad. And now the question is, what do we pitch? Well, I think we're just going to pitch a club now. We're not going to take this finesse again. And, oh, at least it didn't matter. This is always good when it does not matter, folks. And now they're going to help us do our work for us. And I think we just have enough pitches that spades won't matter. Um, we're spades 3-3, three, three, yes. But the problem is, folks, let's, let's jump back over there. When spades are 3-3, three, three, we have five spade tricks and the ace of clubs, that's six. And the ace of diamonds, that's seven. We hadn't created two extra tricks yet, right? So there we needed two extra tricks to be able to get to nine. We didn't get them. And as this is here, it just looks like if they get off to these leads and the, the cards are perfectly positioned for them, clubs on one side, the both diamonds on the other. They did, did give us a shot here, but we needed to hop king of hearts. That was our only chance, folks, is to slide our ninth trick in now, our eighth trick in now, and then gobble one up later in one of those other suits. So here, um, how are we supposed to know? That's right. It, it looks completely wrong, by the way, at this particular point in the hand. So a little unlucky. And then they just they just pop open their best source of tricks here, folks, diamonds. And now it's just easy, easy pickings for them there. Now they have two diamond tricks on top of the ace of hearts that we need to get out to get our contract. So there. That's a no trump contract, folks. Tough to play, especially when they defend as well as they did. So we are now going to see a no trump opened to our right to start tomorrow's hand. So jump back in and see what we end up doing with this hand. We're, it looks like at least at first blush we're going to be defending. So uh, it could be a, another fun defensive hand. I, uh, I have a tough time evaluating this. We did get to another reasonable game on this last one. Might have been a little pushy. So maybe we, uh, we lose a little on this. I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very interested in this results, in these results, if you can't tell. So we'll we'll find out what's doing tomorrow, and uh, join me for that, folks. And don't forget BridgeLesson.com for not only lessons, but the weekend games coming up, folks. Friday, duplicate game, and Saturday, the weekend pro-am is Friday and Saturday, actually. You can play either day. Join us for both of those. Details are always in the uh, descriptions of these lessons.